I've just come to show you um, how I'm making these really easy, quick and easy um, pockets tuck spots for your journals. Um, I just thought while I'm doing it, because I get asked quite a lot of questions and I, you know, I have to be honest, like I always say, oh, I got the inspiration from so-and-so, but you know, I've obviously changed it, done a little something different. Um, so I'm going to start from now on trying to do um, like things that I've done a twist on or things that, um, you know, I think, oh, people might want to see how this is done. I'll make a video. You know, if you're not interested in watching like really easy peasy stuff, then you can, you know, jog on off and watch something else. Um, you, you know, this is, I would say this was for beginners. So what I'm going to try and do <laughs> is make uh, one of each. <clears throat> Um, within 15 minutes um, because obviously that's my upload time from my phone so these are just going to be used in my next journal um, which is a botanical themed journal and it's a kit that I'm using from Victoria Designs so something like this would just go in and that would be um, like the tuck spot on the page and you can slip things in there or with this one um, you can just pop it on there and you can pop things inside there so <clears throat> let's get this started right let me move these out of the way i've prepped everything so the journal that i'm working with measures uh, in height wise um 19 centimeters so i've kind of prepped some stuff that's for the other pockets um <clears throat> And you can obviously use whatever paper, you can just use plain coffee dyed paper if you like. I'm using some of this background paper from Artie Mays. And uh, like I said, um, well this is inches, uh, I measured it and it was 19 centimetres. This is just slightly under 7.5 inches. I've just folded a little bit over so that you can see that. This one I've just inked up because it wasn't coffee dyed on the back. I've just took a strip of music paper, I've done some inking, so I'm just going to assemble this. Um, you don't have to use music paper, you can use anything you like. <clears throat> uh, you can do stitching, I'm not going to do that because I can't get to the sewing machine with all this, the tripod and everything. <clears throat> so, and I'm not really good at editing, so... <clears throat> So that's that. Um, these little uh, circles with the flowers are actually, again, from um, Victoria Designs from the kit that I bought. So I've just cut them so that it's it's a square. I was too lazy to, <laughs> to cut around the circle. And what I'm going to do is glue it on there and then use my pink and shears to go around to kind of make it look like a little stamp. So a little bit of glue and pop that on like that, get the pink in shears and just go around the edges like so, some ink, ink that up and what I'm going to do once obviously off, off camera and before I put them into my journals I am going to sew around the edges <clears throat> but you don't have to I'm just going to put a bit of glue on here pop them in frame yes I am and uh, just put this piece of it's a bit of vintage lace material and I've got all sticky fingers again using my pink and shears and just go around the edges <clears throat> And this has got some writing in the background of the circle, so I'm just going to make sure that it's that way. So I'm just going to add a bit of glue. This is real easy peasy stuff, and you can sit and make this up. Um, you know, I do things like this when <clears throat> when I'm not making journals. I just sit and prep things and have things ready. So that's one little pocket. Like I said, you know, just ink it up. You can sew. This paper is quite thin. So, because uh, it's just normal copy paper, what I might do is actually back this with some coffee or tea dyed paper so that it's nice and thick. So let's make <clears throat> one of these now, easy peasy. Right, so you just fold a bit over for your top part 
and I'm just trying to see what did that. I don't often measure everything. Um, and I'm just gonna tear that with my ruler and keep your scraps because that will come in handy for something else. So <clears throat> just gonna ink it up because I'm gonna cover this top piece. There we go. Um, I'm not gonna worry about how it looks. So we have some music paper that I've inked up already. <clears throat> A brand new glue and it's oh it was a struggle to get it out I had to cut the top of it so that it would come out a little bit thicker and now it's I think it now it's adjusted to the air and the warmth in the in the room it's running out <clears throat> so again we've got another little circle from that kit uh what's well, my circle it's a square with a circle on it and a bit of glue Put that in the middle, press it down, pinking shears, go around, just make a little stamp. <clears throat> I've got some ideas for some of the other um, ephemera from, from that kit. Um, some ink. So I'll show that as I go. Uh, <clears throat> And just pop that on there, pat it down, and you get really sticky fingers. I just want to rub that off. <laughs> Pink in shears again, and round the edges. You can use um, what do you call that stuff? Cheesecloth. I'm on my last little tiny bit of it, and I need to get some more. But I was watching Andrea's video the other day, Artie Mays, and she buys hers. It's not. It's it's like gauze she uses, like medical gauze, and she gets it from Boots. So I might actually just go to Boots and and buy that instead. Um, I mean, I do get a good bargain or good deal on eBay with mine, but um, I want to try that. <clears throat> It's good to try different products so that just goes on there and like I said you can decorate it how you like it's just easy peasy stuff um, <clears throat> you know it's like and sometimes when you do stuff like this and you think oh yeah that's okay once you put it in the journal you uh, you know you may find that you want to add extra things to it dress it up a little bit more um, I like to keep things pretty simple as in I don't like lots and lots of thick layers and I don't like lots and lots of fabrics or lace um, <clears throat> in my journals because I think if just it's just my opinion here if you're going to write in it, it, it some of it causes a lot of bulk and you just can't write properly um, so I'm trying to see I got I don't know if it does already so I'm going to put that there on that side <clears throat> I like to do everything in twos. If, if you know, if you watch my videos, you know I kind of do a lot of my pockets uh, like there's two of everything in each one, like one on the right side of everything and one on the left side of everything. Um, it's just how my brain works. So, like I said, um, I will stitch these afterwards, and then the next time you see these, these will be in the journal that I'm making. Um, well, I'm actually making two journals, um, two botanical themed journals how am I doing for time wicked eight minutes that was really good so it just shows you how quickly you can make something like that um, so that's me got eight pockets to go in my journals so um, the like I said the background papers that I used are from Artie Mays just music paper these little embellishments are from Victoria Designs and it's a botanical themed journal kit um, and I've just used these words that I've used are from um, the junk journal junkies chat group um, and I put them up there just as a freebie um, <clears throat> so you can print them off and use them as you like so I will be back with my next load of pockets probably later on just uh, maybe an hour or two um, once I worked out what I'm doing so any questions just ask and thanks for watching bye